Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Travis Dykes. Today we are going to be doing the part two of my two lesson series on how to play bass for the complete beginner. Basically, if you have never touched a bass, never played a bass, but you're just like, oh man, bass is pretty cool. I might want to try and play this. This is the lesson for you. These are the lessons for you. I basically want to take you from just being like, oh, this is a cool instrument. I'm, I'm going to try and see what it is to being able to play in a band be able to play in a group and be able to actually sound good and really slay, all right? So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll get started. So first things first, we're gonna start off with our major scale. Our major scale is just something that you, it's a foundational scale that it, just about everybody has to learn if they're gonna play any kind of music. There's two ways you can do this on the bass that I, at least, I mean, there's more ways you can do it, but these are the two ways that I feel like are most useful for learning the number system. So we got uh, this right here. We got the first one, which is kind of like the normal box shape that you, you see in here. Okay. All right, so I'm sure you guys have all heard that before. Um, and so basically all this is, is A, B, D flat, D, E, G flat, A flat, and back to A right there. Okay, and so that is the scale. I'm gonna go a little quick through this because there's a lot of information I'm trying to cover in a small amount of time. All right, so that's the first way you can do it. Second way you can do it is like this. So basically, this is kind of like a three notes per string kind of major scale. So basically, I'm doing three notes on this string. So A, B, D flat. Same notes, just different pattern. D, E, G flat, A flat, A. You know, and so we have that. But that'll make more sense um, as a little bit later as we continue to go through this. All right, so now what we're gonna do now, just to make it, let's just make it a little easier, just so you can help you remember these notes. So we're gonna start off with an A, that A. Instead of just thinking about it in a note, let's just put a number to it. Just, we, we got our pattern down. Let's just now just put numbers to it, okay? To make it easier. So we got one, it's that first note. Two is that second note. Three. Third note, four. It's that fourth note. Five, six, seven, and then go back to one, because that's the same note as the first one. Okay? So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one. Okay? Uh, the octave one. All right? So now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it in this other other position of doing the three notes per string. So we're gonna do one, the A is one, the B is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one right there. So you're probably wondering, okay, okay, is this number system? Yes. Yes, it is. So basically, all the number system is, is the major scale, but you just put numbers to it. And so, but the beauty of doing this on the bass is that it is a pattern, and it's not, you don't have to necessarily look at the notes and they're all unique, it's just a pattern-based instrument. So I can do my bass pattern like this, and do it like this. Oh. And, um, and it's the same notes, but it's just different patterns. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what's so beautiful about the bass and doing it on the bass. So we're in the key of A, by the way. Basically, wherever your one is, that's what key you're in. So if my one is A, so when I start my major scale, it's like that first note is one. So if that first note's A, then you're in the key of A. So if my first note was C, and I played my major scale, now I'm in the key of C. My first note's G flat. You know, so on and so forth, I'm in the key of G flat. So 
And the same way for both patterns. So if I was in the B, doing that. Okay, I'm in the key of B. And so on and so forth. And so now what I want you to do, so we're in the key of A. If I said play a three, where would you play? That's right, you play right here. All right, so if I said play a five, where would you play? That's right, one, two, three, four, five, five's right here. If I said play a six, where would you play? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, yeah, six is right here. Okay, seven, okay, but what about two? One, two, two, yeah, two's right here. What about four? One, two, three, four. All right, where's the one? Okay, same thing for this, this the what doing it this way. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna say, where, play a six. Oh, okay. Okay, play a five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now play a three. One, two, three, three right there. All right, so play a four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and so on and so forth. That is literally the major scale. And so what I would do to really get this under your belt and really lock this in is start using it with songs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some patterns up and I'm gonna give you some different um, common progressions uh, that I'm just gonna throw in the video and uh, that you can just use. And I'm actually, I'm gonna throw even in the description just a bunch of different number of variations of songs that you probably know uh, church songs and such that are just simple, simple um, progressions that I could just give out to you in numbers. All right, so one of the most important things about learning how to play the bass is learning how to play to a song. And that's what this section is about. And so a lot of players, no matter what level it is, sometimes you don't know how to play to a song. And the way I think about it is this is just a really practical way. I always think about it in sections. You have the intro, you have the verse, you have the chorus, you have the second verse, you have the chorus again, and then you have the bridge. And then from the bridge on, you you know, it could be a chorus, you know, it could end on a pre-chorus, it could end on it could end on a lot of different things. The instrumental, you know, but the thing is is that you want to think in the mind of like how does the song flow? How does the song flow? So that's what we're gonna teach you. So first, you might have a time when like you have an intro where the bass doesn't is not in. So the big thing is we want to what we don't want to do is try to make a part for ourselves if the song doesn't need it. The song doesn't need the bass at the top. It's a real if it's really soft and it's real worshipy, or or if it's really just a soft part of the song. You don't want to. You don't. We don't need to come in there. You know, we don't, that's, that's a part for another instrument to take. But when we come in, we just make our part special, make it feel great, you know? And so like um, the song that we're going over today is Looking Up. Uh, the first part of the song uh, is it's by a, a group called Nashville West here in Nashville. And like, uh, it's an awesome song. And the first intro, there's like no bass. There's no bass for the whole intro. But the bass comes in strong on the verse. And so that's what we want to think about. So it is like, so here's an example of the intro. So basically, you see how like there is no bass in. But right when it's about to go to that verse, you hear me about to slide. So this is where you can, you're connecting and it's just like kind of making an entrance. Your bass, you don't ever want to just be like, if unless it's like a, a slow song or if it's like a, if you're playing in church, like a worship moment, like where you just kind of smoothly come, you know, come slide in there and play in. But a lot of times you want to just kind of make a cool like entrance. You don't want it to just be a dull entrance. So what I did on this particular song, when we go into the verse, I do a slide like this. And so all I did was just, I just did like a little slide. All right, 
And so that's what got me into it. So that's like, doom, boom, 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 boom. So now, like, I'm, I'm like in the song, and if it was cool when it came in, it was a moment. It was a moment that was created, and that's what you're creating. And so, and but that first verse, I'm just sticking to the pocket. And that's the thing. It's the first, it's for most times, when you're first listening to something, you don't want a bunch of different crazy licks happening because your ear, what your ear wants you to do, it wants to do is like learn what's happening. It's like, oh, okay, this is the first time I listen to the song. I don't know what the verse is. And so if this is the verse, I, I don't really know it until I hear it through one time. And so that's what you got to do. So you just play the pocket so, pe- so the ear, people's ears can know the song, learn the song, learn the section of the song. Okay, all right, we got that part. Now we're going to head to the chorus which sounds like this. All right, so now that the that we got through the course, now you got through two sections that the listener hasn't heard before, ever before. So now that you got through those two sections, you want those those first two, and really the big thing is that you want those first two sections to be as pocket as possible. You can add a little fill, you can add like a little just like make it feel good, but you don't ever you don't want to do like a lick that takes away from it. So now that's where the the first part. Now the second verse, since you've heard, they've heard the ear has heard it before. That's where you can express yourself a little bit more. You can throw a little lick in there, you know, kind of fill it out a little bit because people know the song. They're oh, they, they know the section now. It's like oh, this is the verse. Oh man, what the you know? And then when you throw a, a lick in or anything like that, or throw any kind of um, extra thing into it, it will be it would sit better with the for the listener because. It would be like, oh wow, you know, that's that's cool. They 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 notice it as a cool thing than just like confu- confusion. Because if you would have did a lick in the first verse that was crazy or sick or anything like that, it could be confusing because they don't know what the the progression is already, you know. And so, just like uh, this second verse, I do that towards the end. So check it out. So- So now we're getting to the second chorus, which that first chorus, I did it kind of high, you know, like that's that's what I did. And so that was a little higher. But now the second chorus, because you the, the listener knows the chorus now, I can I can make it bigger. I could change up the dynamic and pe- they will notice it. They'll feel it, you know. And so that's why I went low. I'm looking up because now you know it. And so you're like, you're in it now. And so, and that's where, and this is why playing to the song is great. And so right after that, we go to the chorus or go to the bridge, um, which is just like, tell me what. And so it's really soft. It's my and it's just really soft, a really soft kind of like expressive, like, you know, bridge, which goes just like this. So as you can see, it's it goes in levels. There is levels that where you take it from the when you're taking it from the top bottom of the bridge because you have to bring it because the whole song up to the, to this point is going from not knowing the song to oh building 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 building. So when you get to this bridge, you want to level off a little bit, 
kind of tip her down a little bit, and then bring it back up. So the last hurrah at the end. And so that's that's kind of how it flows most times with songs, a normal just flow. Um, so with that being said, so I'm playing the... Is my help coming from? It's coming from the moon. And then it does the little cut thing. And so that's a spot. And since, and since you've done it so many times already now, you can express yourself some more. Because people are just like, oh, we're the bridge, you know, and they, they've heard it, the bridge, you know, the first section, you know, so many times. Now you can start, you know, doing like a, you know, like different licks and such and where it's like easy um, or fun for you and fun for the listener. Because you're just, you just, that's when you just can be more expressive. And then when you get to that last chorus, um, you usually when you get to the last chorus of a song or the ending of a song, that's when you can be the most expressive. But you don't want to get too crazy. You don't want to get too crazy. But like when it comes to that, that's where um, it, it it stems like where when you hear like songs and you're just like the low, more and more you get into it, it's just like, mm, oh, my gosh, what's happening? Oh, that's sick. You know, that is literally how it happens is because you're building up to something. You're building up to that moment of where you can just if we know the song now. And now we're singing it along, and then when you add some crazy, like, insane lick, or just add a cool something, you know, you feel it. It's like, mmm, wow. Now you feel it more, and that's how you play to a song. And so that's what this whole lesson's about. Because once you learn your number system and everything, when you play to a song, that's when it's going to to mean the most, and that's when it's going to have the biggest effect. Because now you're playing to actual music, and so you have to know how to flow and re flow with music to be able to have the same effect. All right, so now that you know all these techniques, now you got to put them to action. You got to play with the band. If you're not on your worship team at home, play, start you know trying to work to get on your worship team. If you're if you're starting a band, if you're if you want to play with the artist or you know whatever you're doing, go ahead and start now and getting yourself ready and prepared for it. Um, and that's what all these sections are about. These are the practical things that come up when you play gigs, when you play at church, when you play just about anywhere. You know, the number system, all these things. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Or if you want to just, you want to have a, you know, deeper conversation or even just you want to have, you have more questions than just one, hit me up on my Instagram at T Dykes. It's just like if you're texting me it's because I'm, I just go straight to my phone. So check me out on there. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video. It helps get these videos out to the world on YouTube. And also um, feel free to hit the bell after you subscribe um, so you can notify when the newest videos are posted. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next time.